Welcome back, everybody, to Crusader Kings 2 Ruler Challenge 2. You're probably thinking, why are we on 2 when we didn't finish 1? Now I can demonstrate to you guys why I never play on Iron Man mode. Because if I try and load into our old save game, uh, King Conan, we can hit the continue button there, Iron Man underscore Conan underscore Brittany dot CK2. When I load in, apparently the save game has been modified and it's no longer illegible. I don't know why. It's clearly identical to where we fucking left off. We've clearly got the same character, the same dude, but if I go into the game rules, the achievements are disabled. And I don't know what the hell I could have done because I haven't done anything else in CK2 since I've played this. So, pfft. thanks Paradox. Very cool. Uh, it's probably some Steam Cloud Save related shit if I were to take a wild guess. But that campaign is over. But don't worry if you're invested in the story of the Bears of Brittany. Bertany. Those will be coming back, and that's all I'll tell you for the time being. I, I kind of want to... I'm not going to spoil it. No, no, no. Let's, let's leave it there for the time being. So, I will crack out the last whatever the final thing to do was is King Conan sort of off camera. I'll just get that done so that we can safely cross him off and say, hey, that's good. Nice. We're moving on to ruler challenge number two. King Llewellyn II, the Great. What is his challenges then? Uh, Dragon's Fire promises control, so that's got to be probably Tate Wales. Um... Prince of Wales, so vassals of your dynasty. So so take probably the rest of Wales. Take and vassalize the rest of your characters. But, uh, I mean, dynasty probably anywhere, but maybe even within Wales as well. England's spouse is married to your children. Um, English spouse is married to your children. This seems like another challenge that we could probably get done in in like a day, to be honest with you. This sounds, this sounds quite a simple one too. Iron Man, Huelen Gwynedd. Incredible. Let's see what we've got. I'm so annoyed by that last one going to shit already. But that's again, that's why I don't play Iron Man mode because I've had that happen in the past as well. I, I actually went on a like a six month period when before I started YouTube or anything, just trying to get the achievements in CK2. I wanted to get as many as I could. Genuinely, I got like halfway through. Let me take a look right now how many I'm, I'm looking at. I'm looking at 51% exactly of the achievements in CK2. I did one that took fucking ages to set up. I can't remember which one it was. And then it said that I was no longer eligible. And that stage, I was like, nope, I'm out. I'm done. And I've never gotten achievements since then. So. That's really good. I'm really nice to see they fix that. Okay, so, uh, what are we looking at? Okay, everything's working this time. I just wanted to see maybe it was a Steam-related issue, because you do need Steam to be able to be eligible for these. Um, so, Promise is controlled. Yeah, so we need to take the rest of Wales. Makes a lot of sense. Prince of Wales. Well, in the Kingdom of Wales, you must have as many battles as possible be of your own dynasty. Right, okay. So, it was, it was the sort of latter suggestion I threw out there. It was, in fact, Wales proper that we need to... So, there's only, actually, nine promises in Wales, aren't there? Uh, we got Anglesey, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then that is, uh, also, oh, 10, really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I can't do maths. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant. The point is, it's given us a little bit, by the looks of it, of leeway. Even if it is, take the whole thing, it doesn't matter too much. We can just go full North Korea mode, because this is quite a... Quite a simple start by the looks of it. So I'm actually probably going to do that to start off with. I'm probably going to wipe out these guys first and foremost. Revoke the vassal titles. Whatever else we got going on here. Take the whole thing. And then if we've got no vassals, why would I care about rebellions or anything like that? We will have mayors and city holders and anything else. But I do think that's probably the safest way to do that. Uh, along with... Along with that. So we'll go North Korea modes will obviously fulfill this one. And it will technically also help contribute to this one. Then we need to just have as many children as possible, once again. So I am going to take the seduction focus for the second series in a row. They like emphasizing that, don't they? Um, although I guess it is kind of a dynasty building game, so I'll let them off. So go for that one next, and then Love Spoons. English. Uh, oh, I like this. Oh, this is this is raising a fire in my heart. Marry of many of this Welsh ruler's children to English those of English culture as you can. Only the English spouses with titles or claims count towards the challenge. Right, so we've got to find lovely young English uh, prince, princesses, count, countesses, etc., etc., and marry them off to... We've got the, the earl's daughters. Wouldn't be too bad either. All right, this is good. We've got claims? She's married. Okay, you know, we'll, we'll dig that up later on. We, we know exactly what we've got to do with that. So first things first, then. I think we will... I guess it, it's got to be legitimate children, right? Bastard members do not count unless we legitimize. Right, got it. So we'll do what we did yesterday. Similar tactic. Uh, not becoming a bear, that is. Oh, man, I thought we had a Plantagenet in our car. I was going to say, that would take one off quite easy, wouldn't it? Um, right, let's go for women who are preferably within the realm who he can Im immediately either invite to court or start, start seducing immediately is also fine. Uh, ruler, no. Married, preferably not. There we go. Okay, let's let's just this is our this is our list now. This is our list of women to seduce. Oh god. Uh this is hang on. 
This is almost our list. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> oh, okay. Immediately we're going for a crusade. Yes, fine. My men are ready to Egypt. Of course, we'll immediately head off and uh, get that one as soon as possible. When is it starting? 550, 558 days, excuse me. 588 days. Um, my beneficiary will gain all the times. We don't have any beneficiaries, do we? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say what I give myself away. Oh, we do have dynasty members. Uh, right, okay, that's interesting. And the achievement actually called for dynasty members, not direct children, right? Vassals of your dynasty. Right, okay, cool. And they have to just be legitimate. That's very nice. All right, um, we could, I guess, try and contribute to this. I mean, it, it's pretty good at being an early crusade. We still stand to get some gold out of it, someone pointed out to me. Uh, regardless of even if we're not here for the titles, as long as we do a decent amount of war score, it's going to be fairly difficult. I'll, I'll have to try, to try and shadow. Well, shadow's the wrong one. Try and get some of the major armies to shadow us. Try and predict where they're going to go. Try and get some organizers so we can beat them to the siege and have them siege down. But because we're the first one there, we get to put the flag. So... I'm alright with that. I think that's a good idea. Uh, who do we want to be our beneficiary? Sure, just in case we get some titles, Einan can have whatever we pick up there. I'm going to specifically look for some organizer characters. Organize. We spell it the American way. Oh. Oh. God damn. Paradox, you traitors. You're Swedish. We're, we're closer. We deserve this. Okay. Uh, no organizers that want to join our court. Let's go any. Let's go ruler. No. Um... This is going to be fairly tricky to get. Oh, there is a guy. Oh, you may have just saved this crusade for us. I'm going to I'm gonna min-max the shit out of this series if you can't guess. So, inviting this random Sardinian man to my court so we can lead our army so we can slightly get to provinces faster than the big boys so that we can get the war score. Fine. Even if it only gives us a few hundred gold. Speaking of which, flirt with her discreetly. My lady. My lady, what a fine nose you have. That's, that is, you've got to admit, that's fairly damn discreet. Oh, she's Chase. That was probably a terrible first choice of character. Yes, very chaste. Let our love grow. We might as well also get married. Actually, no, get married last. Because if you're going out having a load of bastards or whatever, that would kind of be a bit counterintuitive. Maybe if you want to go for the war focus, for, for uh, maybe even dueling so that we could kill some of these guys off, that wouldn't be too bad. I could just straight up revoke the titles. Because, again, there, there's so few vassals. I mean, even if all of our ram go into rebellion right now, we can crush them kind of handily. Let's go for revoke title. Are we allowed to? Oh, we're just allowed to pass that. Council, what do we think? Uh... Okay. Okay. We can dish some gifts out here. I don't think it'll be necessary. Yeah, we're good. I was going to say, they're, they're all in green. Uh, they, they've all got pretty decent green opinion there. They're not any vassals specifically. That was the only thing I was concerned about. Right. Okay. I'm going to start revoking the shit out of your titles now, my friends. 50 prestige. That's what the crusade's there for. Let's start crown focus here. I mean, that's your power. It's not really interesting now. What are our important decisions right now? Recruit a core physician. I'm sure we've got someone capable of doing that. Yeah, we've got 20. He's a mastermind theologian as well. He's pretty good. Um, right, let's set these minor tiles, and then let's focus on the important stuff. By which I mean, going back to our list of very lovely ladies to try and seduce. All right, there's number two down. I'm not going to go through all of the events every single time. You guys kind of get the picture. I feel, I feel like we've already done enough there to, uh, to highlight that. And then we can invite them to court straight away as well. She was a steward. Really? With nine stewardship? But does that also mean that we can make women our counselors? We can. Okay, cool. Uh, slightly higher gender equality. That means that we can swap this guy out for our new lover, who's obviously going to be... That's an incredibly loyal spy master to immediately have stacked our ram up with there. Um, these ones are related to me. Now, I'm not going to say that's going to stop us, but maybe we'll start with the other ones first. Number three is down. Let our love grow. Very nice. Okay. Uh, what are we looking at then? Let's get her invited to court. As long as I'm moving him to court as well, it should be an easy way to keep track of who we do and don't have on board. Um, oh, plus I guess the lovers around the... Uh, I keep forgetting they added the little portrait icon there. Um, what to take the vowels? That's the opposite of what we want to do. She is our relative, but I mean, she seems quite distant here. She's our... Oh, she's our cousin. Like, like uh, she's, she's like, you know, Alabama distant. Seek an ally amongst my friends. Or, for those of you in the UK, Norwich distant. Let our love grow. Thank you. Okay, this is this guy's doing a lot better than the last guy we playing as with uh with with ladies. That's already like four down in the first five minutes. Okay, uh we've got other family members. Why not? Honestly, why not? We gotta we gotta treat family equally. We're off. We're off. Actually we got sixty six. We can revoke a title before we leave. Um no, you know, we're already over our domain limit. Let's let's wait a while and then we'll uh, dish it all out later on. And we have to go oh we, shit, we'll have to go to war with England, won't we? Um Ooh, that's going to be fun. All right, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, right, troops. Let's get off. Hopefully, our... Uh, hopefully, our commander hasn't fled court since then. I did make him... I did, I did assign him as a commander. Wow, that's a lot of goddamn boats. There's no rush. Uh, 
Let's drop you guys. Let's drop you guys as well. 45. Oh, that'll do. Close, close enough. Why not? Okay. So we've got... There he is. Okay, our Sardinian commander, who's an organizer, is still kicking around. We got a wine, and then we got Ainan as well. Onto the boats. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what damage we can bring it down here. We want to wait, obviously. We, we don't want to be the first ones. We don't want to be on the vanguard. We want to wait for some other big boy armies to get over here. Meeting my room, my lady. Well, that was easy. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting to do it mid-battle. Um... Let our love grow. Honestly, why not? Oh, there we are. Nice. Off to a great start there. Right. See, that's the type of thing we want to be fighting. Uh, oh, sorry. That's the type of thing we want to be avoiding. We want to let other people fight that. And we want to be shadowing some of these armies. Things like these guys. So that we can snatch the glory out from under them. Right. Let's go there. Where are they heading to? Cairo. Can we beat them there? Almost certainly not. No. See, they've already... Oh, you know, we could just sit in Cairo. Because I'm sure someone will come back. What the fuck are they doing? No one can really decide what they want to siege. There's people here. Go. That was, that was entirely my army. That was my bad. Sorry, I thought they weren't moving away from the province. Doesn't really matter too much. Legitimizing. Welcome. Okay, if you want to join me, Siege in Cairo, that would help. That's it. Come down. Come down. And then we have to time it perfectly so that when they when they land in the province, we, we then assault because we get to use their troops as forces to assault it down, which makes perfect sense, of course. Right. Nice work. Cairo's gone. 84%. And your boy, your boy is up there. We're actually in the top 10. Nice. Okay. Um... I'm glad we got the capital. Wait, is Cairo even the cap? Yeah, it is the capital. Okay, good. Right. You guys want to... Okay. Uh, maybe I should... Hmm. Keep an eye on this province. No, I didn't mean to actually move them lock away. That's my bad. I can make this work. Immediately stressed. Not a big deal. They're joining us. They're joining us. No, no, no. Brother, 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 brother. Where are you going? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to sit here. They're coming back. It's okay. Nobody really knows what to do. These guys are joining us, but I'm still not going to assault with that. We might go for the next level, though. There we are. How are we looking now? Your boy's up there. Your boy's actually up there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, someone's trying to attack us. Please reinforce. Please, bro brother. You would not leave us like this. Oh, battle war score for me as well. Well, thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, yeah, I think we probably got something out of this then. Because there's not going to be enough war score around really to... Done. Mystic soldiers. Praise God. We got nothing. We got absolutely fucking nothing. How dare you. How, how dare you. I can't believe that. They gave us nothing. And the, I, that's the last crusade I ever gone. I'm telling you right now. And we're 145 gold in debt. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Damn Pope. All right. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Well, that our trip's reinforced a little bit then, I guess. We'll also wait for our money to kind of pick back up. Uh, I was going to say, do we really care? But I guess I should probably leave that on. Um... All other children of him changed by minus 40 for 12 months. Great. Our zero-year-old children are going to be upset because we've... How would they understand the implication of medieval succession like that? I don't quite get it, but that's okay. Uh, right, okay. Who we got else on our list now then? I'm looking at age specifically. Um, obviously above that, you fool. Susanna? She'll do. So do Susanna. <laughs> that I love grow. Also, someone pointed out that the, the actual smarter play... Particularly when we're assassinating, would have been to, uh, would it would have been to probably go for Master Seduce because that's plus fifty attraction opinion. Particularly if we're trying to win over a lot of people in courts to assassinate. However, it turned out that was the easier one, and the bastards came second for the for the previous campaign. So it was still technically the right choice, though I get why we should have really gone for the other one. In theory, it just happened that the dice rolled in our favor going for it that time around. So if we get the choice between Master Seduce or Hedonist, I mean, chances are we will probably go for. Master Seducer, just to get the, the plus 50 opinion with all of the women in court that way. Because, I mean, we could probably destabilize England with a few good assassination plots. So we'll see just about how we can manage that. Now, bear in mind, we also have slightly higher gender equality as well. So we might be able to find some really, really good woman chancellors to invite to court as well. Not sure I like this one. Uh, this was a lady we caught while we were on a crusade. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that's okay. She was just one of the prisoners we pulled out of the castle. She was sheer, but I asked her to convert to Catholicism because then she leaves prison and joins our court for whatever goddamn reason. And now she is in love with us. What a, what a great story. What a, what a fantastic story there. Definitely no weird and strange and negative connotations going on with that one. Now, unfortunately, we've apparently seduced every unmarried woman in Wales. Um, I'll just search all within Diplo range instead then. And we'll, we'll see who we can find. Um, we're gonna go down the list. We're gonna find, like, actually, let's go for, like, Midas Touch characters and things like that. The higher chance of the babby being formed. Um, sure. What's up? What's the list? That's not gonna hurt, is it? Right, send her a gift. Get her to court. I almost think seduction in CK2 is, like, a little bit too easy. Like, it's a little bit ridiculously easy, isn't it? Just being able to, yeah, let's get her to court as well. Why not? Apparently, everybody wants to join us, too. 
it just seems like you will always succeed given that given a small amount of time and there's no sort of the, the fail state obviously exists they can say oh you know they're, they're not really interested in your advances whatsoever but this is just like literally click of a button just the click of a button Dorothea, next gone. Thank you very much. This is so stupid. Uh, I think I'll probably leave it relatively soon, and we'll just sort of we'll, we'll call it there with a collection of uh, collection of lovers. We're already up to this is going to be our eighth. And how long we've been playing for right now? Five years, and we've had a crusade. In the meantime, we're averaging like one lady in a thirty year. We did gain lossful. Okay, we did gain lossful. We'll keep going obviously until we get masters to do so. But then after that stage, I will. We'll, we'll, we will just leave it there because uh, there's not much point keep pursuing it after that stage. Finally, there we are. I've learned a thing or two about intrigue. We gain intrigue plus one, sex appeal plus ten. Bear in mind, we got quite a few lovers at this stage. I was kind of expecting to already have Master City, but that's okay. So they're just King Llewellyn. She's the, she's the next one on the list. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty well with the family game as well. <laughs> How many? Uh, nine years. Nine years and we've managed to churn out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven children. Very nice. Okay. Um, let's get back to the important business then. Council say no. Why? What's wrong with you? Oh, because he's on the council. Okay. Um be gone, thoughts. What about you? Uh another another vassal, be gone, and another vassal, be gone. So what I'm saying, look at these women that we've invited to our court. They're, they're our most skilled chances out of everybody. They're also all our lovers as well. So this is working out phenomenally well. She's apparently broken up with us. What? Dudugu. <laughs> I can't believe her. That's unreal. All right, fine. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll work on this one next. Right, can I take your tart now, please? Thank you. Appreciate that one. Oh, that's made our lives ten times easier, because if that guy's just basically giving up without a fight, this guy will also give up without a fight. No, he won't, but I don't know what he was expecting. He's definitely not going to win this, seeing as we now control all of the rest of Wales. Oh, he cut off some of our troops there. Not too pleased about that, I'll be honest with you. Um, let's get, put him in his place. We don't lose any battles here. We don't lose any battles. There's no rush. We'll deal with her in a minute. <gasps> Classic fucking CK2 right there. You rolled the dice. You're now dead. Okay, I assume those. I assume we had to do these as our featured rulers dynasty. Uh, featured rulers dynasty. By the featured ruler during their lifetime. That's it. Game over. We failed. First attempt failed. Because of RNG. Nothing I I did no nothing wrong there, besides not forbid him as a commander, perhaps. You absolute motherfucker. Oh very annoying, but it shouldn't take too long to catch up seeing us. All we really did was revoke a title and then I'm just gonna hit that button. Just gonna hit that button. All we did was really revoke a title and seduce just a boatload of women. And that's something we can really do again quite easily. See, right like I said, you just press a button and they and they're immediately on board. So I'll catch us up to where we were. It'll take a few seconds. Well, immediately we've gained kinda lustful just from the few seductions. I say few. I, I mean I did say it would take a few seconds. We've been playing for uh a year, roughly a year and a few months. We've already got six lovers down, so this is not going to take uh, oh, seven lovers down. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Holy shit, that was fast. Um, Wow, one year and we've already hit. I mean, again, Master Seducer for the 50 opinion is probably a great plan. Yeah, boom. I can hardly resist myself with his mighty nose and his mighty eyes. Also a mighty mouth. Oh, I mean, it might actually have a mighty mouth, hence why this has always been so easy. Um, we'll keep seducing for the time being, because of course we do need an army of bastards to be able to land. We need like 10 kids or whatever it fucking was, so um, leave her a note to meet by the stream. And this means we can now use the secret technique. I didn't have to wait long for Der Lugdak to show up by the nearby stream. We spent hours chatting and laughing. I do believe she's falling for me. I lean in and whisper into her ear. Brush my lips against her ear and breathe out. So I w lean in and whisper into her ear. Brush my lips against her ear and breathe out softly. This is for you, viewer. Uh, uh, uh. It works. An unfailing trick of seduction. You're welcome. You, you can, you can, uh, hopefully that'll keep you going for a while. Okay, uh, she's 51. Sorry, I think that's been a mistake. Ah, oh, no, why not? Honestly, honestly, I love wrinkles. I do. Ah, oh, very good. Pisa explains all of us must gather to support. Alexios Angelos for the throne of the Byzantine Empire. Fine. Next crusade will be the fourth crusade to Constantinople. Well done, team. Good work, squad. Onwards to Byzantium. Fine. We will take Constantinople. Fuck it. Why not? Um, 
Recipient is... Uh, no, why would I give my titles? It's mine. Thank you. There we are. Uh, okay. Wow, that's a hell of a fucking war chest, huh? Uh, 33 artifacts. Let's get to it. Let's get to it as soon as possible. I should have hired another organizer to try and swipe some more war skill, but that's okay. Um, how many men we got? We got 3,000. Let the vassals take the cost. We might as well, seeing as we're not going to have them around for too long. They might as well do something useful here. Right. So you can add them on, friends. Oh, you know what? I don't think we actually got the Crusader trait last time we were out, did we? Right. Uh, leave a note to be by the stream. Might as well do this before we, uh, leave or not. Oh, we had a son. That's fine. Legitimizing. How many kids we got? I've literally not been keeping track. Four. Beatriz, we've got Edward, Ev Ev Evrard, we've got uh, Hildeberg, and Cuckoo Karoo, Mac Llewellyn. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, what the hell's happened there? Your sister is the Queen of Navarra. Huh, that's convenient. That's actually quite useful. Okay, uh, I don't know which one we want as our heir. What was our success right now? Absolute Cognatic Avalkan. Oh, so we've actually got like proper gender equality going on here. Fine. We'll deal with that in a minute. Obviously, we need to marry them off to English spouses or whatever the, the challenge was. Let's head to... Constantinople. Everyone else is going to walk because they're suckers. Why walk when you can ride? Brush my lips against her ear and breathe out softly. Let our love grow. One for the journey. Thank you. Okay, good work, team. No one sees you Constantinople. Get there. Run. F fly, you fools. We need an organizer. Because there's another army already heading over there. Uh, organizer. Ah, uh, organizer. Spelt the wrong way. Join court. Yes, no one. Okay, join court. Let's say ruler no diplorange, preferably. Uh, this guy. Get him on board. Have we got anyone else? There are multiple people. A lady. See? Perfect, perfect uh, example of why perhaps Master Seducer was the better option there. Join us. I mean, we're there, but I have a feeling we're not in charge of the siege. Petty Kingdom of Gwyn... I'm the Petty Kingdom of Gwyn. Crank it, brother. It's time. Where's the... Br bring this to me. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. Right, get these, uh, get those new commanders dished out, please. You're fired, sorry. Uh, Delinda, join me. Uh, wait, are they even here yet? Wait, she's just an incredibly good commander. Uh, join me, please. This is great. Gwynedd takes Constantinople. Pope loves Gwynedd. We lead the vanguard. Get murdered. Round two. Here we go. Uh, Llewellyn on the center. The Great Crusader. Llewellyn the Shagger. <laughs> Kill them all. Kill, burn them all. Kill them all. Kill them all dead. Am I in charge? Well, I'm not even on the top. I'm leading the... I'm leading the Constantinopling, though. What are you talking about? Rubbish. Okay, 35%. Keep going. Never stop. Matty was me she's pregnant with her child. I don't know how things were on the other side of the world right now. Um, How long have we been gone? That doesn't seem, that doesn't seem like that. This doesn't seem like it adds up. I think we've been in Constantinople about a year. Okay, that is the last of the Constantinopling holdings. Where is everyone heading to? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going after this, huh? Come back to mine. Right, let's go. Let's go over here. <gasps> oh, it's G Gwynedd again. Round two for Gwynedd. Ah, oh, incredible. We don't even need an organizer when everyone just attaches to the mighty. They're all going for the strongest. They're going for the alpha. Let's be reasonable here. 100%. We're, we're up there, but I don't think it's still 2%. We're not going to get anything from that. End it. End it, Pope. Great opportunity for friendship. Me and Grandmaster Jeffrey become close friends. End it, Pope. Please, Pope. Please, I'm struggling to... Achievement unlocked, Venetian Guile. Hey, at least we got something to show from this. Um, oh, nice. What does that do for us? Win a crusade targeting Byzantium. Nice. False romance, no more. Appreciate that one, Chief. Very cool. All right. We got another show. We got a mountain of monies. Did we get any... Wait, did we actually get the monies? Or were those the monies we had before we left? Doesn't matter either way. I'm taking it to, taking it straight back home. We're going we're gonna to invest heavily into the infrastructure of Wales. Isabella is pregnant with our child, too. Just an incredible day all round. How, again, how? He's, he's genuinely been at Constantinople for about two years now. So that doesn't make much sense. Arnold. Welcome, Arnold. Legitimize young Arnold. A daughter was born. Could, why all at once? What the hell did he do before he left for Constantinople? A night of, uh, a night of extreme debauchery by the sounds of it. Okay. Now we go back on the train here. Revoke title. Two supporters, two opponents, one undecided. I think we're going to start sacking some of our councils and replacing them with these very skilled and talented women we may have seduced into our court. Delinda, um, I guess this guy will do. He's fine. He, his, his title's not at risk at all, so why would he care? And then we'll swap some of these guys out for, obviously, the more skilled characters instead. Regent, why not, honestly? Might make him a little bit more susceptible to some of our fuckery here. There we go. Uh, fuckery with titles, not fuckery with every other living thing in our court. Uh, and perfect. Okay, cool. Can I take this one? Let's see what we can do here. So, revoke title is now... Four supporters, one undecided. I think we pretty much got that one in the bag. And let's strangle a man to death. 
No, actually, let's behead him. Go for the marshal instead. We're vomiting. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, he's not going to die randomly again, is he? You wouldn't. You would not. Head to toe and leeches. We lose the vomiting. Okay, good work, leeches. Are they, uh, like, look, this is why we still do it in 2019, leeches. Guaranteed success from that. It's a 100% track record. Give me your stuff. Thank you, much appreciated. And then you, if you're going to go into rebellion again, you know what? Let's preempt it. Let's preempt it. Hey, uh, can I revoke your title, please? What do you mean, maybe? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, you penis. Right, drop these troops. We can't. We now are in full control of every province in our domain. Let's go ahead and create the Duchy of Palace as well, because honestly, why not? Um, oh, we didn't even set crown focus. I was too busy focusing on the ladies of the realm. Uh, I just made some complete random, just a complete mash of buttons to uh, to set up our master of horses, whatever that was. Differed comes next. Uh, oh, we are their suzerain, are we? Um, request claim from the Pope, but I am a crusader. Minus 29. Seduce the Pope? Is there a female Pope? They're not that progressive, apparently. Okay, uh, let's start fabricating claims then, over there, because I think to... Uh, is there a become King of Wales ambition? I mean, I would prefer Grim and Air right now for fairly obvious reasons, I think. Uh, let's go back to our court, because I've had a bunch of courtiers that we are not yet seduced to. So I'll go through and uh, finish off the rest of the list. So now we've got a collection of kids. Bear in mind, all of these kids can be landed. Now we've got a collection of kids <clears throat> and a collection of lovers. We'll move into either the Benedictine or the Dominican order. Um, that one gives stewardship and fertility. This one gives just learning and fertility. To be honest, this one is so much more beneficial if you're a ruler yourself. So let's go in there. The Wisdom of St. Benedict. What, your wards have increased chance of... Oh, we're actually a really good educator as well, aren't we? We've got diligent, patient, just, brave, lustful, kind. All of these traits are what we would want our successors to hold. The question is then, who do we want to succeed us? So I think what we'll do... So very quickly go to the character finder. Um, we want my dynasty, and we'll sort by a young age and sort of see. So none of them inherited anything besides uh, Waslava, who got ugly. So I'm not too interested there, Chief. Um, guess we'll start at the top and work our way down. Just get those ones educated first. That way, if they come out shit, we've got more chance to educate other kids in the future. We're actually a really good educator. We're legitimately a very, very good character. We'd probably struggle to find AI that's better than us unless they had a combination of genius or something like that with it too. Right, there we go. Okay, cool. And then everyone else, I'll just chuck them at whatever is at the top of the list because the game is actually pretty good at determining a guardian for these guys. So we'll do something like that. There we are. Perfect. Okay, fine. We'll see how that goes. We've got our Wisdom of St. Benedict too. So in theory, these two kids are stand the chance of coming out the best, though we did start educating them slightly later. Um, you know, it wouldn't have made any difference anyway because we've only just got this ability. All right, take a vow of celibacy. Never going to happen. Give spiritual guidance, though. It's obviously fantastic. Teach virtue is obviously going to be fantastic for our kids as well. And then finally, we got Benedictine Diligence, which we've already got. Cool, fine. We just get caught Tomcat. We actually did. Entry plus one, six PL plus ten. We got that after long after we received Master Seducer. I've never seen it happen in that order before. Very weird. I guess it's just a, a mean time to happen like uh, most events in CK2. Donate to charity. We do have a mountain of cash here. Not really a huge amount to spend it on. Obviously, no trade routes or anything like that. We could build a new holding. Um, what are we looking at like that? 714. Wouldn't really hurt. And it would also kind of curb a little bit of the troop loss we're going to have by being massively over our domain size. Um... Sure, I guess we could. What's the best holding in Wales? Oh, we've actually got it. It is actually Ross. Or Ross, or however you would say that. Um, fair enough. We could build a castle here and try and turn it into a proper little stronghold. Because when we've given away all of our titles, working in our own... I mean, I could always go ahead and revoke this one as well. From my good friend, Owain. I'm going to take that one if you don't mind, pal. Thank you very much. And really, we could go... Full blown North Korea mode and revoke everything, but all of our vassals like us so much, even though we have revoked all those titles, it doesn't really matter. See, they're, they're kind of a mixed bag, and it would only piss them off more if we kept revoking more and more. There's only one other title we can hold anyway, and that's Aberystwyth, so it's not really worth it. I'm going to host a feast, because I so rarely do that in CK2. Um, yeah, hi for the feast, we've got plenty of gold. I've also got our guy collecting taxes now rather than administering the realm. I don't think it's really too necessary. Spend lavishly on food. We can do a lot better with that gold than they uh, can do with just administering the province realistically. Unsurprisingly, our vassals did not want to join us at the feast. I wonder why that is. We need to plunge England into absolute chaos here. Um, just trying to force vassalize who? Uh, an Irish guy seems on brand. Uh, we could just 45% even with the Master Seducer. Wow. Um, the Pope will let us invade England. Wow. Holy shit. That's a... That's a, that's a big offer right there, isn't it? Request text communication. It'll also say yes. Why? Because he has a low opinion of King Richard. 
That would be a hell of a way to to clap England around the cheeks, wouldn't it? Boom, get it communicated. And then let's see if people come for him. Bear in mind, we could just declare an excommunication war. I'm hoping that Scotland might go for it. France might go for it, especially given that obviously they are missing out a lot of their land. HRE might even go for it. When they're in a big war like that, when it's England versus HRE or England, one of those other big boys, then we can hopefully come in and just grab a few different provinces in Wales. Just sort of go and scoop it up and go for a quick war. Uh, set up Pope Maurice as an anti-pope. Oh, wow. Richard the Lionheart just set up an anti-pope. Impressive. Well, that's really going to get piss people off with him. What we have to do is marry four of our kids to an English character, and that's that one fulfilled. Well, that would be very, very, very easy to do, especially if they're women. We can just invite them to our court because they're already lovers, and then we just marry them off. But I remember, it only counts if they've got claims or titles, which, again, shouldn't really be too difficult. And that one we have to do with our current character. The rest we can carry on with any character of this guy's dynasty. I mean, that one's going to be completely... That, one, that one's going to be very easy, I think. Um... That one we can almost fulfill now, to be honest with you. Um, have the, oh, have the retirement title of Duke or higher. Okay, no, no, it's nowhere near. Okay, we're going to have to actually actively invade England. We're basically going to have to form the UK. Nine Dukes or higher. Wow, that's quite a... Uh... Yeah, that's quite a tricky one then, huh? And right on cue, Kaiser Heinrich has come in there. Okay. Unfortunately, the only things we've got are border disputes, which I assume we like the piety for. Yeah, 200. Um, to be honest, we're not far off. All we need is a little bit more cash. Um, we could borrow it from from the Jews. What do you think? Take that and just go for a border dispute. Take one of those provinces for England. Probably wouldn't hurt too much. Uh, just to Hereford, Shrewsbury. I guess we go for Breckenshire. Sure, let's do it. It, it's a bit of a... It, it is, uh, I will admit, not the most ideal war to be fighting here. And let's wait for the HRE to actually kick him around a little bit as well. We don't want to go in while they're basically still at full power here. Or... <laughs> oh, no, that's bad timing. Okay, we'll take that one. Um, And that was on the... That was a duchy level claim. Oh, wow. Okay. Release her. And then seduce her. Ah, uh, this is a good idea. Um, Who's she married to? The Duke of Ulster. Oh, that's going to get annoying. Oh my god, it's not matrimonial. We need to wipe this out now. Brush my lips against Daria and breathe softly. Get her to fall in love with us. And then, we need to say that right now. Because, of course, if they have any kids, which they do, this is going to be inherited by England. So we need to stop this right now. Thank god that claim came through when it did. How much she got? 1,100 men. She'll also most likely call in her husband with another 824. We, we've got this in the bag. It, I would have to seriously fuck this up to fail when we have almost double our army size. Let's get in there. All right, there we go. That's what we're after. Get these guys merged. You never lead troops ever again because I really don't trust you. We need some good commanders. Let's invite some good commanders to the court before we get stuck in with uh, with too much warfare here. Join court preferably. Who we got? Ah, there we are. Nice. Good flanker. We've got the battle nun. Join us, battle nun. There we are. That's a little bit more of an improvement. Perfect. 19 across the board. This is going to be a complete wipeout. Where's the river run from then? Oh, it's just hills. Oh, no, not a problem then. Go for it. Uh, mountains. Mountains? Sure, whatever. <laughs> it's not like there's a big mountain, roughly. We lost? Um, hmm. That was unexpected, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and we lost. Oh, because one of our commanders died. Ah, oh, you fucking coward. Unreal. All right, whatever. <laughs> That's just genuinely unlucky roll of the dice there. One of our commanders died mid-battle, unnerving all the troops. Whatever. That's... It's just one of those things, isn't it? Right, let's get you back on board. Right, should we try it again? Round two. We do need to be again quite fast. Otherwise, England are going to take all my stuff. There we are. Look at how much easier it is when none of your commanders drop down dead. Make him disappear. No, thank you, England. Continue to work to fabricate on my title. Damn it. All right, whatever. I can't believe we're at minus 20% war score for that because one of my fucking commanders died. You can go to hell with that one, you fool. Make him disappear. Get out of here. No fabricating. Worcester, get out of here, Worcester. Or as they were saying, America. Worcestershire. <laughs> this is horrible. And now you see why I play with decisive battles. Because this, this is horrible. Oh, God, I forgot just quite how bad it was in the base game. Un this is unreal. Okay, give me a few hours and maybe I'll have uh, I'll have their armies defeated so we can... Oh, oh, we'll just do that. That also works fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, nice. We've unified the realm. Um, except for this, which apparently she kept... Oh, she's now just our vassal. Uh, that's not helpful. Well, how long were we at truce for? Shit. Uh... 21st of February. Oh, God, we got to wait 10 years. We're only 30. I actually thought we were a lot older than that. Cool. Well, hey, it's ours. The, the downside is, again, same story. 
she will, uh, if she dies, we're going to lose that. So, she took her in prison. She took her in prison. She's not a lover, so she's not going to be too bad after a while. Furious defeated me, declared war, usurped title, wants to see it on the council, desires the duchy, title climb, etc, etc, etc. But, lover is still there. Plus 40, very nice. We can also make the Kingdom of Wales now. $356 it is. We might as well just save up. That's not going to take long. 50% chance of getting the fragment of the true cross and ambitious go. Oh, God, we've lost that th three times we've had that event, and every single time we've not gotten ambitious. Uh, grab it and run, and then we'll beat the abbot to death with our bare hands. You seem evenly matched. Oh, it's going to kill us again, isn't it? <laughs> you motherfucker. You absolute motherfucker. You awful video game. You are a terrible video game for idiots. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big, a big thank you goes out to Gogolus, Gwen S. Scott, Northern Bear, Belleg Strombo, Sarabi, Nostrus, Lucas, Peyton Dennisar, Huey Long Long, Solmus, Slippy Dips, and Skaz for their support over at Patreon as well. And a big shout out as well continues on to. My good friends, Tentacle Beast Love Trees, Blood for the Blood God, Callum McLeod, Manuel Bossich, I am Sagatair, Sam Kears, Derek F, Jason Sushu, Mason Fireblast, Will Wade, Distorted Triangle, and Matteo over at Patreon as well. If you are a new patron, please bear. It will take a couple of days for the new patron list to be updated, at which point I will adjust that all for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hate this game. This is a terrible video game.